Okay guys, so this look is going to be experimentary, so I figured I'd do both eyes on camera. Um, I am using the 3502 from Morphe, and I'm pulling in one more shade because <laughs> at first glance of this palette, I thought this shade was like a deep navy blue, and I was like, oh my god, that's so interesting. That's such an interesting change of colors in this palette. Upon swatching it, it's black. And so the look that I had in my mind, I wanted to try incorporated that navy blue. So I went in my, my collection <laughs> and found a navy blue that I'm going to use in this. And this is the uh, Into the Well Eyeshadow by MAC. Um, and this is called Switch Me On. So I'm going to be using this deep navy blue. But anyway, everything else will be the palette. Because I was kind of disappointed. Um, so I primed my eyes with some Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I have on Universal, which is a nude, the, a matte nude shade in the palette sat all over the lid and yeah let's see where this takes me so I'm gonna start um in the crease and I'm going to take the navy blue and I'm gonna start to put that all right what I'm doing is building a shape a nice shape with the navy blue So what I'm going to do, I got my shape down. I'm going to take a small, uh, fluffy bit. Bleh. Get your life together, Candace. A small, fluffy, fluffy <laughs> blending brush. Jeez. And I'm going to blend out the edges of the navy blue, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put any product on the, on the brush. I'm just going to blend out the edges of this navy blue really well. So right under my blue, I want to start with the warm shades because, yeah. So I am going to go into, what is this called, Fire. Uh, another reason why I purchased this palette was for these bright red shades in here. And this is the matte red, Fire. I'm going to go into there, and I'm going to pray that I do all right with it. Putting it right under the blue. I'm just dusting a little on the lid, but it's not where I want this look to go. Um, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing here, so I'm actually going to intensify the blue a little bit more. I know. I knew, I knew. And bring it up a smidge more. Bring it out a smidge, a smidgen more out of that, out from the pink. And then I'm going to take that naked brush that I was using to blend and continue to soften out the edges of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a, where is it, my metallic-y frosty shade that I want to use. I'm going to go into, let's see what we have here. We're actually going to go into ro this rose gold shade, which is called Polished. And I'm going to go into that, and I'm going to put that over the lid. We need a little more going on here. We need a little more. I'm going to take, uh, what is that, Pure, which is a champagne gold shade. I'm going to pop that, blend that right in the middle of this look. Whew, just like that. And I'm going to go into, 
uh, back into pure that champagne and I'm gonna go ahead and attack the inner corner a bit because I've been into that you know and then I'm actually gonna do a matte brow highlight because I'm I'm just feeling it I, that's just that's just what I'm feeling today I don't know you know I'm going back into Universal, which is that matte cream shade. I'm going to highlight my brow with it. I used to always highlight my brow with a matte shade. I don't know. I don't know where that went. I don't know. I lost that. I lost that. But it's coming back. It's coming back. This look, does it need a wing? Do I want a wing? I do, I want a wing. So, I'm going to go ahead and do some wing liner. I can never do that on camera. I can never do it well, so I'm not even going to attempt to. I mean, it'll be recording. We'll see what happens. I'm going to apply a little tape. And line my eyes with some black liner. I'll be back. Okay, so after the wing, I, when I did the wing, I applied, I curled my lashes and applied mascara. Um, and you can leave this look. I'm liking it without the lashes. I am gonna add lashes though. You can do this without <laughs> without lashes, but uh, when I wear liner, um, it kind of make my real lashes disappear a little bit. So I am gonna put on a wispy one. I didn't want to put on a big, big dramatic thick lash because it's going to take away from this beautiful shadow behind there. I'm really proud of myself for this look. I, it, it was actually fairly simple to do, but I don't know. I just thought of it, and I, I love when I think of new ideas and new concepts with looks, and I really like this look. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put on a wispy lash. Also, I did not put any liner on my lower lashes. I'm just liking it like this. I did put mascara on them, but again, no liner or anything on the lower lash line. It's still... So dramatic, but it's still fresh and ready for the day. So uh, I'm gonna put my lashes on as I push my nose ring back in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put my lashes on and I'll be right back. So the lashes that I have on are Coco Lashes in Madame Wispy. These are what they look like. These are my number one recommendation for a long, wispy lash that doesn't take away from the eyeshadow because you can clearly see the eyeshadow through the lash, but they have that long, wispy, fluttery, look to them. I recommend them for people with long lashes because sometimes like the Demi Wispies, like the Ardells, I don't know, they just don't enhance my lashes as much as I need them to because I do have naturally long lashes. Um, a little stopped up here, sorry. But also, these have a clear band. These are like number one if you want that wispy look but no liner. A lot of people do lashes, like to do lashes without liner and I recommend lashes that have a clear band so you can see this band is clear so it just looks much more natural than a black banded lash with no eyeliner on um I recommend I definitely recommend the Madding Wispies they're like five to six bucks they're not expensive at all and I get a lot of uses out of them so that is this I look. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, stay tuned for other videos because um, I am doing my foundation uh, in a different video. This is going to be a, like a first impressions on another foundation. And so, um, yeah, I'm not going to show that in this video. But I'll come back with the full look. Give me one minute. Okay, so I'm back with all of my makeup on. I am wearing the ColourPop no filter foundation. I did a first impressions and a video on that, so that should be on my channel soon. Check that out. But I really enjoyed this eye look. I love the idea of the blue with the warm tones. I I'm really proud of myself for this one. I really like it. Uh, yeah. So I'm wearing Mac Ambering Rose Blush. My highlight is a Makeup Revolution Big Bronzer in the shade Rock On World. And my lip. I'm wearing a lip gloss, and this is my Buxom. Full on lip polish in the shade Brook. So it's a nude gloss with a little bit of a gold reflect in it. Really nice for summer. I love glosses in the summer. So, 
yeah if you have any questions comments concerns about any of the products mentioned in the video feel free to leave it down below i love you all and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye